General Electric has produced the world's largest and most powerful jet engine, the GE 9115B. We've broken the world's record twice for demonstrated thrust, most recently demonstrating 127,900 pounds of thrust. Uh, that's equivalent to over 100,000 horsepower. Even veterans of the aviation business are amazed by the engine's size. They're, they're pretty much awestruck. A lot of them really just are kind of silent and just, you know, big eyes and this look on their face. It's just almost incredible to see. It's so much larger than any other engine they've ever seen before. The key to the success of the engine is its giant 128-inch diameter fan, one of the largest ever constructed for a jet engine. The shape of the fan blades is also a key ingredient in creating the engine's enormous power. Older engines used simple straight up and down fan blades. But the GE90 is equipped with aerodynamic swept wing blades. The unique shape of the fan blade is key to the technology of the engine as well. And that 3D shape, that beautiful 3D shape that you see, draws in more air than just a straight up and down or radial blade. It actually draws in more air in the same circumference. And that extra air gives it that extra little bit of thrust that we need. Before the engine could be certified for flight, it had to be put through a battery of demanding tests. The testing is to assure that the engine can, can fly in any environment safely. We look at any extreme environments and make the testing more severe than what you'll see in operation on an aircraft. We have water ingestion testing. We take in about four and a half tons of water a minute and show that the engine can continue to operate and not stall, taking in that kind of volume of water. We also do hail ingestion testing. We have several little cannons that shoot hail into the engine. They shoot about three quarters of a ton of hail in 30 seconds. Nothing was left to chance. Technicians tried to recreate and analyze every possible problem that could happen to the engine. An engine, when it's operating on an aircraft, takes in a lot of air. It can also take in anything else in the environment, such as a bird. So we're required per the FAA to shoot bird carcasses into the engine and to show that we can continue sustain operation even after taking in the bird carcasses. Perhaps the most important test of the engine is the flight test. GE actually owns a flying test bed, a 747 aircraft, where we test engines prior to doing flight tests on any new aircraft. In the case of the GE 9115B, we had this huge GE 90 engine on the aircraft with three smaller engines. Amazingly, the engine proved powerful enough to fly a giant 747 by itself. We had these three smaller engines that we actually cut the power to all those engines and just flew it on the one GE 9115B engine. Another story about the flying test bed that's pretty amazing is the air that's pulled through the engine to generate the thrust. As it was exiting the engine, it was actually moving 400-pound rocks that were kind of rolling behind the engine. I don't think anybody expected to see that. After two years in development, the $21 million engine is now a fixture on the Boeing 777, ushering in a new era for twin-engine airliners.